Hi guys, so I'm going to go through the answers to the do now just because this is our last lesson um, before half term so that you can check that you've got everything right. So factorising, there's only two terms so I'm going to factorise into a single bracket. Now the only thing that's common to both is the letter a. So to get from a to a squared I'd need another a. To get from a to 16ab I'd need the 16 and the b and that's it, first one factorised. If I look at the next one I want two brackets because there's three terms all together I know that both my brackets are going to start with an x so I want two numbers that multiply to make 40 but add to make 30 so I've got 1 times 40 2 times 20 3 don't go in 4 times 10 5 times 8 there's all my pairs that multiply to give 40 the one that adds to 13 is 5 and 8 Right, if I look at expanding a single bracket, 5 times 2a is 10a. <coughs> Sorry guys. Um, and then 5 times 7 is 35. Expanding a double bracket, you're either going to use FOIL or a GRID. So if I use FOIL, that's the first term in each bracket, that gives me x squared. O stands for the 2 on the outside, so that's 10 and the x, that gives me 10x. I stands for inside, so that's the 2 in the middle, so 4 times x is 4x. And L stands for the last term in each bracket, so the last one is 4, the last one is 10. 4 times 10 is 40. So I'd have x squared, 10x add 4x is going to give me 14x, and then I've got plus 40 at the end. Right, standard form, we're going to multiply these together. Remember for multiplication questions, the numbers get multiplied as normal, so 7 times 4 is 28. It's always times 10 to the power of something. And when you're multiplying, you add the powers. So 2 add 13 is 15. And then remember, make sure it's in correct standard form. This number needs to be less than 10. So if I make that 2.8, I've made that one decimal place smaller. So to balance it out, we make this one pair of 10 bigger. I get a pair of 16. Right, find the volume of this. Now, we've got a parallelogram, so all you need to do is a parallelogram is exactly the same as a rectangle, so you just do base times height, so 12 times 10. You don't half it for a parallelogram. Okay, and then all you need to do to turn that into a volume is to multiply it by how deep the shape is, so we're going to times it by 7. And it's literally a matter of typing that straight into a calculator. We're going to get 840 centimetres cubed. Okay, on this one you've got a trapezium that's been made into a 3D shape. So we're going to find the trapezium first, that is add together the two parallel sides, so that's the 4 and 7, times by the distance between, which is 5, and half it, that's going to give me the area of the grey trapezium. And then to turn that into a volume, I times it by how deep the shape is, so I times the whole thing by 10. That gives me... Uh, Uh, 275 centimetres cubed. And last one um, is a bit more towards what we're going to do today. We have done a couple of these before, but I thought I'd do a little bit more on it today. We're going to split this into two rectangles. This bottom rectangle is 10 centimetres wide and 8 centimetres high, so that's going to give me 80. This rectangle at the top here is if 10 centimetres all the way across, if I take off that 7, I've got three centimeters across 13 is the full height if i take off the eight it's five high so this one is three times five so that gives me 15 that means the l shape okay backwards l but l shape is 95 centimeters altogether because i've just added these two and then all i need to do is times it by how deep the shape is which in our case is 11 centimeters so i just need to do 95 times 11 we're going to get uh 1000 and 45 centimeters cubed okay guys so hopefully that helped remember you may want to listen through these three again at some point to help with today's work